what's going on guys, Steve here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Samsung motion sensor. So as you would expect, this sensor detects motion. And from the stats that I found online, it is 120 degree field of view and has, it claims a 15 foot range, but from my testing, seems to be closer to about 10 feet. So about a month and a half ago, I bought this sensor to work on a previous video, which I'll link in the card above. And in that video, I used this sensor with some Wi-Fi lights to control the lights on and off in the bedroom. I will say so far, it's worked perfect. It's done exactly what I need to with the requirements that I need it to work in. But I will say that those requirements aren't very extreme. Overall, this sensor works perfect for the situation I need it for. Let's go ahead and open up the box and I'll show you guys what's inside. Okay, so if we look inside the packaging here, we have got the quick start guide. Take it out, there is the motion sensor. So underneath the motion sensor, we've got a little bag. We've got some screws. We've got some wall anchors, some double-sided sticky tape if we would prefer to use that instead and not put a hole in our wall. The actual sensor itself. I can uh, pull this off. This is the wall mounting template. Don't really need that. Last time I used this, Avery, go play in the water over there. Okay, sorry about that. Last time I used this, I just I just held this up where I wanted to and I put little dots in there with a pencil. So I didn't really use the template. But anyway, if you want to wall mount it, there you go. Also on the back here, if you just want to put a single screw in the wall and just kind of have this hanging, there is an option for you right there. You can also pull the cover off. And this is what we got inside. We've got the CR2477 battery, a three volt battery. Here is the button for the reset. So you'll just push and hold that. It's a light indicator right there for the reset. And that's pretty much it. So we've got the details here on the back, but that is pretty much it. So there is the motion sensor right there. Pretty straightforward. I would say that if you're looking for a sensor that's gonna cover an entire room or a large room, that this is probably not gonna be the sensor for you. The range on this thing just is not far enough. But if you're looking for something for a small room, a hallway, maybe just putting it right above a door to find out if there's motion above that door, this is gonna be great for what you need. I'm happy with it. I'll put a link in the description below of another motion sensor that I'm looking at that's gonna have a little bit more range to it to see what you guys think about that one. As always, I hope you guys liked the video. If so, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. You helping me out? Avery, what, we, what is this? Is this the motion sensor? Yeah. Is it a good motion sensor? Best ever. Do you give it a thumbs up? All right.